controversy is heating up when it comes to a new law in Arkansas that you've likely heard of. The law will allow library employees to face criminal penalties for distributing books found to be harmful to children. Our Samantha Boyd takes a closer look. I would call it an attack on freedom to read, the First Amendment. Executive Director of the Central Arkansas Library, library System, Nate Coulter, says there are two components so far that his board and library attorneys believe are unconstitutional. One is the harmful to minors criminalization provision. Coulter pointed to a federal case in 2004 where a similar statute was found unconstitutional. Even though they switched words a little bit here and there, the effect of it is the same. The idea that vilifying librarians and subjecting them to criminal penalty for something that has already been determined in one instance to be a standard that is flawed is hard to understand, frankly. The second component is the statute that allows a city board or county quorum to decide if a book stays in the library or needs to be moved. The statute is flawed on its face. I reached out to the sponsor of that bill that is now law for comment. He said in part, quote, the only confusion as to the constitutionality of Act 372 seems to be in Nate Coulter's head. When you can't respond on the merits or on the substance of what we're talking about, then I guess you resort to ad hominem attacks, attack me personally. Sullivan also said, quote, I wonder whether the citizens of Central Arkansas who pay amongst the highest library taxes in the state know that the head of their library system treats their hard-earned money as a slush fund to pursue his personal progressive crusade. This is not about me, it's not about Dan Sullivan, it's about the law. 